As you practice the first part of the form, keep your head and body upright and comfortable. Relax your lower back so your hips are centered and your tailbone stays aligned with your heels. Keep knees aligned with your feet and shoulders relaxed. Now, let's begin. For our very first posture, we start in what is called Wu Ji, and Wu Ji means unity or oneness. The Wu Ji posture is just like the horse stance of the basic moves. So our weight is evenly distributed on the balls and heels of our feet and between our two feet, knees unlocked, lower back relaxed so that the tailbone you know, aims right between the, um, the feet at the heels. Our head is as if suspended above, as if it's being raised up by a helium balloon, bringing our bodies into natural alignment. Shoulders relaxed. And then the Wu Ji element of this is, this is a Qigong exercise. Elbows are very slightly bent. Fingers point down and slightly forward. Wrists are straight and relaxed, and so the energy goes right to the fingertips. So when focusing on Wu Ji, we can focus on feet, head, hands, and breathing. Beginning. Raise your arms to shoulder height and shoulder width. Then straighten the wrists. Bend your elbows. Lower your wrists. Lower your fingers. And then this next move, as we're going into the Taiji stance, includes many of the moves from the basic moves training. The first is Bend your knees, riding the horse. Shift the weight, bare rooting. Turn, pivoting on your right heel, just about 90 degrees. Okay, We do this all in a flow. As we do, right hand is a little above your heart, left hand is below your belly. Okay. Shift your weight onto your right foot. And then when you step with the left, make sure that you step in a line with where the left foot was so that your Taiji stance is going to have stability side to side and front and back. Okay, we'll do this once more. Any time that you like to, touch the chair for support as you stand and as you shift the weight. Now, lower hand comes up in front, so your left hand's now facing your chest, right hand in Wuji. Now we're going to be shifting back and forth. As we shift back, you can shift up to 100% of the weight in the back foot, or however much you can manage keeping your body upright. As you shift forward, we don't want the knee to go beyond the toe of the front foot. Okay, so this is press. Shift the weight back, elbows at your side. Sink forward and push. Repeat this on the other side. Shift the weight back, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, turn. This is the stable and open with the foot forward. Shift forward, and then as you step, if you like, use a hand for support. And now is the right ward off. Right hand comes up in front of you, facing your chest. Left hand in Wuji. Shift back. Bend your left elbow. Press. 
left palm into the right wrist, sink back, elbows relaxed at your side, shift forward, and step forward back into your horse stance.